this thought is finds itself in a life-threatening situation what it quickly does is it goes in into a shell a strong protective shell in the upper and the lower part of the tortoise and completely shuts itself in the scripture declares in Psalm 91 that he that dwelleth in the secret place of Elion shall abide under the shadow of El Shaddai. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the father and from the noisome pestilence. It does not matter how many enemies surround you. As long as you shut yourself in that secret place of prayer, as long as you remain under the refuge of the Most High, there is safety. Don't be provoked to come out. Don't be tempted to respond to adversaries. Don't be tempted to defend yourself because at this point, any form of defense is deadly yes in that secret place of prayer it doesn't matter how strong your enemies are you can never break into the secret place of prayer no devil no demon no principality no witch or wizard can break into the secret place of prayer don't be leered by the devil to come out don't be tempted by your accusers to say something It is said, silence is golden. Remain in that place where it seems as though you are defenseless. It seems as though you are guilty. It seems as though you've lost words. But silence is golden. Speak only in the sacred place of prayer. And your enemy knows very well that he can never break into that secret place where, where Yahweh himself dwells. Keep staying there because there is safety. Keep staying there because in that place, God himself lives there. Keep staying there and empower yourself until your enemy gives up. And there will be a right time for you to come out and walk away. Shalom. God bless you.